Hey, hi all. So today we are going to see how we can do the SAP S4 HANA application automation with the help of Catalan Studio. To start with that, we can do with the help of just record and replay features of the Catalan Studio. We need not to write any complex code to automate the SAP S4 HANA application. We can do with the low code automation. So let's see how we can start the creation of the test script so for that we need to just click on this record web button here you need to give the url test url for that sap application so this is my application url test trial one and here i can select the browser in which i want to do the recording i will click on this expand button this expand tab is nothing it will show all the recorded action which we are going to perform over the application so let me start recording so it's launched the browser so here i'll give my username so if i navigate to any objects you can see the property is displaying top here so now i need to enter the password i'm entering my password and here you can see it got entered in the encrypted format so this is sometime we'll get this verification so So you have seen here that we have just uh, did the login for to that SAP S4 HANA application with just record and replay. Uh, we haven't done any uh, like manual scripting or anything, any complex code written. We haven't done that. If you want to add any verification point, you can add it. Just verify this text is present here. So this is the way we can easily create the low code automation with the help of catalon in sap has for ana application so i'll just stop my recording here and you can see here all the captured object here so whatever action we performed over the different objects you can see that object got captured with the different uh, locator property okay so i'll just save my script as I have already created, that's why it's showing in a red color. The object is already present, it's highlighting in a red color. So I want to, if I want to merge, I can merge with the seam, or if I want to create the duplicate of those objects, I can do that. So I'm going with the merge option only. I'm not going to create, and I'm going to create this. Okay. So this is my disk has got created. So you have seen that I have created this disk case and for the uh, SAP login application. So in same way, I have created the script for the uh, creating sales order and updating the sales order. So to run in a single flow, I have created one test suit. Test suit is nothing but the collection of test cases. So if you want to run end to end scenario, so we can add those test cases in a sequence way in which we want them to execute in a test suits. So here you can see I have created test suit with the first with login, then create cells order and a third is searching and updating the cells order to see how we can do the execution here to do to start the execution. We can go to run and we can start the execution. So we'll see how it will launch the browser. First, it will do the login. Then it will do the creating of the cells order. And third, it will take that cells order number and it will start the searching and updating the cells order number. So how the execution will happen without manual interaction, we will see that. So while recording, you have seen that we have uh, got that um, ad additional authentication step, but it's not uh, 
uh, happen every time so sometime we'll get sometime not that's why i have put some extra weight to see if that uh, extra authentication steps is coming or not so it logged in our first login disk is execution is completed now it should go for the service authentication So now it's searching for the table in which we need to create the cells order. So you can see my cells order is created with 183310 cells order number okay so now it should execute the third test case which is searching and updating the cells order so you have seen it's just the same cells order number now it's going to that cells order number and it's updating the order call entity. We have seen that this got saved. Now it's log up to the application. So you have seen that uh, how simple it is to automate the SAP application without any manual uh, coding or writing any complex code so we can just do with the help of record and replay and how easily it's to execute the same test case in an end-to-end -end flow also so that's all i have for today so thank you